Hello. I'm out here again and it's uh, a crazy, crazy day. Wicked, wicked rain. It comes and goes. It's been raining steady, but sometimes just pouring. And I'm out here with Peter, as you've just seen. And I'm just laying on a raised bed that I made years ago. And just chilling out, staying dry under here. Pete's over there getting some water on for a coffee. <laughs> it's going to feel good. Whoa, she's uh, very windy and wet out here today. Well, there's Pete. Hey, Pete, say hello. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Finally made it back on tours again. It's been too long. This is nuts. <laughs> she's uh, <laughs> she's uh, quite the storm there. You know, man. And of course the weatherman screwed up again. Yeah, yeah this course. is supposed to stop by now, ain't it? It was supposed to be done by three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You look up through there. You can see the trees just waving. It's five to five and it hasn't stopped yet. I'm saying it's seven o'clock now. Of course the, the wind just stopped and now they're not moving. <laughs> Because they were just going crazy up through there. <laughs> yep. Coffee's on though. The most important part. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is what I have going on. I just got a 10 by 12 tarp tied off at the first grommet. The 12 is running this way. And then I have the 10 going up and over. Staked in the back and tied out in the front. This here is the raised bed. I've got my air mattress here, a tarp on top of the raised bed because it's been out here in the rain and such so it's totally soaked so I put a tarp over top of that and then my sleep pad. But Keep it nice and dry. The wind is, uh, like I said, it's pretty crazy. It's picking up my tarp and so on every once in a while, but I'm still staying dry, so it don't matter, you know. But it's where I'm sleeping tonight. Can't really see what Pete has going on over there, but this is about the same thing. He saw he has a nice raised bed over there. It's nice and high. And that's done him well. It's, you know, a couch and a seat and so on until he's ready to sleep. And then it's his bed. So that shelter's done very well. We've had this up. These, uh, you know, you've had your shelter up. I've had mine. This like you said, what, three, three years? Three years. This would yeah. be the third winter. Wow. Yeah, so it's been three years. I don't know if this is ever going to end. This is day five now. And we're still underneath the tarp. Uh. <laughs> it's about an hour later. It's still raining. <laughs> so that's what it's supposed to do for the next few hours is uh, just rain. It's rather windy out here. Pete, you just said you heard the top of the tree come off? Yeah, up there somewhere. I heard it fall. Yes, sir. Well, that's that. To be honest, this is uh, when it's windy like this, it can be dangerous out here for sure. The rain has stopped for, well, pretty much stopped anyhow for the time being. But we're getting a lot of wind. I just heard a snap over this way. Just heard a big snap. He's tightening her up some. That's a new tarp that he put on. The other one lasted ah, three years. So he's just putting this other tarp on there today. That's his setup. That's what I've got going on over there, like I said. And underneath there is my raised bed. Water's really high right now.
having some really strong wind gusts and these trees are just rocking. Now that can be dangerous because of widow makers and such. So that's one of the things that you factor when coming out here camping and stuff like this. There is a danger. Plus it's just going to be above freezing tonight and if you're soaked, not good. Oh, what's this? Man, these are some big trees as well. Wow. Put your weight at it. She just freaking. Well, she just cracked. That's how, uh, that there she just busted big old tree it's a live tree as well and we're right there <laughs> so think I short the other way um, yeah we're like 15 yards from it kind of thing yeah tell ya it's pretty windy out here damn I gotta say that when you have that much wind out here and such, it does tend to get a little uh, nerve-wracking when trees and branches and stuff are falling. Like I said, the stuff here, do so at your own risk. But we've been out and stuff like this many times. I enjoy it, but uh, do I recommend it? No. No. <laughs> it, it is dangerous. It really is. Holy! Where I'm standing, the roof just lifted up underneath my foot. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, whoa, shit. Seriously, look at this. Put your light down there, man. Holy crap. I don't know, bro. <gasps> yeah, like, that's lifting, that's lifting the whole, that whole side's coming up as the wind blows. Dang, I don't know what the winds are, but that's, uh, kind of scary, that's for sure. It was lifting me up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, actually getting rather sketchy. Tell you the truth. Peter was just saying, and I tend to agree. I mean, trees are breaking around us and such. And this is a camp out for fun. We're going to see how it goes the next little while. But don't want to be sleeping in the middle of the night and a tree fall on you. I've actually been out in hurricanes and so on, but, uh, whoa, <laughs> but, uh, anyway, <laughs> I don't know what that was, big pop, was anyway. bridge. oh, big branch fell bridge. down, oh yeah, so, there you go, I mean, we're gonna see how it goes and stuff, I've never actually left the woods, because it's been too dangerous, but, I don't know about this one, this spot is a lot of uh, deadfall and such, and well, <laughs> there's been already a couple trees that's fallen down and tops of trees and such. We'll see how it goes. We're going to pack up. This one here just came down across my tarp and right across the uh, tarp here and hit Pete right in the freaking head. Yeah, that actually hits you right in the head, oh, yeah, like right, holy right crap! Right in the melon. That just fell, went right across mine. I was laying down. That's where it broke. 
went come right up through and he was sitting in there and it come right across top of his head. <laughs> Big good turn oh, oh, oh. That's that's your yeah. That's a biggie. No, that's uh that's too dangerous out here. I mean we got trees falling and stuff. Like I said I've not had to actually leave a campsite but we got nah it's too risky for camping. 30, I mean, if uh, you have to be out here, it's one thing, but we don't have to be out here. They have 40 years. I've never ever had to do this. No, I, no. This is bad. <laughs> Thousands of times I've been out camping. I've never had that happen. But, you know, and this here is a good, you know, six-inch tree. All I can say is, thank the Lord I use bank line. There's the proof that it's strong. Yeah, really. Because it didn't break the bank line. No, I, I got bank line too. Tied mine up. And that's actually what stopped a lot of it. You can yep. see it's laying across mine. Right across his as Just well. Just that little bank line. Yep. It goes to show you how strong that stuff is. Yep. Uh, I guess we might as well pack up before, you know, one of us gets seriously hurt. That was lucky. Very lucky. You're not cut or anything, but... No, no, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, it's uh, just enough to turn around and say, all right, that's it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. First time we've got to get out for a long time, and then this happens. Wow. Yeah, this isn't the spot to be. No. That one just came down. Finney's coming down. I'm standing here, and a branch has come down, and hit me on top of the head but it's only small branch. Yeah, you gotta pick up and get out of here. Wow. That's still crazy. That there was a six inch diameter tree about 30 feet long and it landed. The only thing that stopped it was my shelter and his shelter and it still hit him in the head and it hit him hard enough that it jarred you know right straight through him didn't cut him and such but uh, dangerous and you gotta know when to call it this is camping and it's not worth risking his life or mine so we're pretty well packed up there now but yeah dangerous being in here right now Hey folks, well, like you said, we're all packed up, we're going to get out of here. Yeah, definitely, I mean, my 40 some odd years of coming out in the woods, I've never, ever had to turn around and call a camp, but this is just, this is nuts. I mean, the wind's blowing, here we just had another one snap. Yeah, It yeah. ain't worth it, man. It's not worth it to turn around and go. I mean, some people may turn around and say things, but you know what? Better safe than sorry. So, hoping it was going to last a little longer, but unfortunately, you always play it on the safe side. Well, you know, he's one of my best friends, and I'm not going to risk him losing his life just because, you know, we want to go camping. Oh, yeah. So, me neither. Not in this. Not in this. This, yeah. this is too much. I mean, this spot that we're in especially. I mean, if we were in a different spot, you know, it's not too bad, but there's just too many deadfall around here. So it's not worth uh, playing with. And most of our woods is like this, so yeah, you can't really pack up and go somewhere. Unfortunately, yeah. Okay, take care, all. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.